Welcome to Africa Sportsman Show, Hanke. The day is finally here. Um, we've been planning this for a while and uh, we've got our gear together. We're here in the Malapur region, um, very close to the Botswana border. It's about 10, 15 kilometers from here. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head out. We're looking for. I've been chasing a, a trophy Steenbach all my life. I haven't shot one yet. Um, I decided I'm I'm only gonna shoot one <coughs> in my life. It must be the right one. We're gonna be looking for that mainly, and then uh, there's also some Impala, some Kudu. Red Art to be asked. Kudu. There's there's some big Kudu in this area. So uh, let's head out. We'll talk about our gear and uh, our shooting our shooting equipment a little bit later. But I think. The sun is the sun is coming yeah. up, so uh, it's time. Let's go. Let's get going. This is our map. So north is that way. Okay, so it's facing north. Okay. So we find ourselves somewhere. Uh, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if I looking at the current wind that we have, we have to walk up. We'll, if we work this way up here, what do you think? Yeah, and then we have all this because the wind, the wind is coming. Yeah, yeah. The wind is coming from a from a north northwesterly direction. We spotted one stem off this morning. We did, yeah. Um, we had a broken off horn. A little bit far away too. To judge. We definitely not what we were looking for, but um, at least we saw one. The, the grass is quite tall, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the other challenge um, is to try and get the rifle off as well. Of course, it will yeah. be impossible to walk with a rifle over your shoulder. No, definitely. Uh, you know, as we do now. And when we see it, I'll I'll take your rifle off for you. Yeah. So uh, and if need be, then uh, you know we can always leave the backpacks. Yeah, if you spot something in the distance, I, I yeah. think that is what we will do. You know, Just put leave. our bags down, mark the spot, have yeah. a sip of water, and then try and go for it. Yeah, yeah. and when and, you know, when it's not successful, we just come back and get our backpacks and go on again. I think we just need to get on top of this this hill over here, yep. and uh, hopefully we have the same vantage point on that side. Yeah, so we're shooting with um, uh, the Nosler Trophy Grade Factory ammo. The, the cartridge is a 6.5 by 2.84. It's a Nosler rifle, very light rifle, but I think we'll we'll get into that a little bit later on. And it's okay, just put it away again. So, you know, this this type of terrain, walking slowly, scouting. I mean, it's um, out of breath won't be the problem. Yeah, so you need to, it's you just need, a, you need to get used to the weight. Yep. Uh, how to carry it and how to manage the weight. That's it. Then on the backs, then on the hips. So, um, the wind is perfect. It did jump up, make, made a dash, but we don't see him now, so hopefully he's still around here. So let's just have a slow walk in here, straight into the wind towards that big tree. Okay. Gun safe. Gun safe. Little bastard gave us a slip. Yep. We have uh, one of two options. We can either, because it's a there's a huge area to hunt back. Yeah, this way. Yeah. So we can either start in this vicinity look for a nice tree or water or whatever to set up our camp and then we hunt this area this afternoon we head back to our camp get our gear tomorrow and we can hunt that area 100%. again or maybe in a different direction 100%. or we keep our backpacks on and we hunt in this direction we set up camp here somewhere. it's 11 30 now so it's getting hot in any case so i think we need to get out of the sun so about think... another half an hour hour left yeah. half an hour left i think we uh, we find a decent spot to camp Pitch up camp. 
And hunt the afternoon for me. Hunt the afternoon that easy. And then as you say, if it doesn't work out this afternoon, then tomorrow morning we break up camp and we go now. Alright, let's Definitely. let's look for some decent shade and put up the camp. Trying to get a, some uh, type of assistance here in the sand. Trying to make sure some kind of walking stick. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Are you finished with your stick now? <laughs> huh? yeah. You wasted about 30 minutes of our precious time with your stick making process. Did you, did you find us a, I did. some shade? Let's go and have a look at that shady tree over there. Maybe that's a good place to, to set up camp for tonight. shoot something big you know an impala between me and you and martin i think we'll we'll manage yeah with an impala you know if we, if we got it but something like a hard to be as you know that's 70 80 90 100 kilograms yeah. with the skin on um so that 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 we're gonna have to cut up and and then i think we take our map we have our map with us we have gps with us and then we find the closest road, road. and we take it to there we have <laughs> some rope in our backpack we yeah. only have one bag with us now and we quarter it we hang it up in the tree and then we'll decide from we'll there, are we going to yeah. try and go get the vehicle? Yes. Are we coming back this way? We, we'll, we'll see when... We'll make a plan, okay, 100%. Okay. All okay. right, so every, everybody ready? Enough yeah, I water. think so, we got enough water. We have enough water, we have enough food yep. to last us until way after dark. Yeah. And, um, and we, uh, we also have some, some lights in there as well. Yeah. So, let's head off. Thanks. Stephen, this is such a big area, and uh, you know, because it's such a big cattle station, you get these water holes every now and then. And without them, we will be lost. Listen, Uncle, and then, uh, it is, you know, it is a topic that, that arises quite often in South Africa, is, is the topic of the fences. Yeah, um, it is a big topic. And, uh, but, but, you know, this, these four foot fences that you see here, I mean, this is as free roaming. This is as, as free get, roaming as you will get South Africa ever in your life. The Kuru, the Artebeest, the... They're all wild, nothing. Well, I mean, nothing. None of them's been brought and none of them's been... Yeah, they are here naturally. Here. And, uh, That's it. Um, so, so as far as... Although the farmers do have cattle on, I mean, it's, these fences have got nothing to do with the game. Right? No, nothing. No. no effect at all. And that's the only places we have left to do wild open ranch kind of hunting. And what you know, hunting is it? Yes, yeah. it's a big area no, to cover. It's biting us, right in the butt. I think let's make our way into the wind and we hunt until dark and we take that road back on. Good. All right. One animal with broken off horns, both horns are broken off. If that's a bull, that'll be a really nice one to take. How come you, Bob? I can't see you. How come you? How come you? How come you? I can see you. 
Tekst að segja í sveg. Þetta er nýtur ræð. Þessi ambæðis tjón er sem dagt að hvað. Það er ræð við andi drýð nefnum. Is that good? Yeah. It sounded good. It was a, the shot broke well. Um, he jumped, he performed well, so hopefully it was on the money. There he goes. So a bunch of red out of it. Try to get a shot and then all of a sudden they screw up here. Yeah. Huh? We were on the red out of this bull. He was just walking away from us. I mean, we had a dead rest. And I think you whistled to make him stop and I think your whistle pushed this bull Yeah, he, he jumped out of the yeah. bushes a couple hundred yards to the left. and uh, But he, 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 he never saw us. Otherwise, he would have ran. Yeah. So we made up this last, I don't know, two, three hundred meters. That's why I'm so out of breath. Um, we got a shot in. I don't know how far it was, 170. While we were um, waiting for you to get the blood spur, we just quickly looked at the replay and the first shot was a little bit low. Is it? Yeah, so maybe I... There is now. I, um, I think I underestimated the distance, distance maybe. Yeah. Um, I aimed for the middle of the shoulder. So with that drop, you know, then it must yeah. be... Because we zeroed at, at around about 150, 170. Um, so then, he, then it might have been yeah. 220, 240. Yeah. Maybe even further. So. Your first shot? Yeah, the first yeah, I shot. I think it was further than that, definitely. Yeah, so... Uh, but at least it, um, you know, it, it anchored him good. And yeah. yeah. We, we, we could get a follow-up shot, so... <laughs> yeah, that's a problem with these open areas, eh? There's no... Uh, there's no way of, you know, uh, getting him for sure. I mean, if he gets over, over, yeah. over the fence line here that's only four foot tall, you, you lose him. So definitely. it was quite... It was quite unsettling for a couple of minutes there, but he's down. <laughs> Yeah. Now it's a nice ball. Eh? Now, really nice. now the hunt starts. Yeah, now the work starts. Now the hunt starts. <laughs> yes, how far are we from camp? No far. Oh, now the. Now we fall. <laughs> yeah, it's a pity that first shot was a bit low. You know, Stefan, if it was low, it was still good enough to get it here. No, Here's your bull. It's a beautiful old bull. Look at the body on this bull. It's, it's a ball. smashing body. Look at this neck, Stefan. Lux, well done, buddy. Yes. yes, and that's a nice good. Oh, well, yeah? done. <laughs> well done, man. Lux, and that first shot was a difficult shot, eh? Yeah. You know, off a, off a was branch. It rushed and, as well? No, it was rushed, obviously. And he was moving. Yeah. He was moving when you shot. I mean, so so what an awesome, awesome hunt. Really. And again, it's a free roaming ball, Stefan. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just a free, it's not a thing that's bought, it's not a thing that's put here, it's no jeans, no nothing, it's just a free roaming ball. That we had the privilege a, to well, shoot. I just what I was about yeah. to say, what a privilege, eh? Obviously, man. Yeah. Obviously, it's a privilege to shoot. What a day. Jeez. There's yeah. the sun going, starting this morning. Morning. And you know how far we are away from camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's, uh, there's no road, so we're about a Gee. kilometer and a half, I would guess, from that, from that water trout. But we're going to worry about that later. It's, we're going to get this guy up for a... we got a, another half an hour to work, so I think let's put it down. Yeah, let's 20, get the, 30 minutes. Let's get the the guts out quickly yeah. and then we'll start with the rest of it but well done Stefan 
again, eh? great shooting, bud. Anka, thanks. And always with you, it's a pleasure. You always shoot like a champion. Eh? So nice spending time with no. you in the, in the field. Eh? Wonderful, thanks, buddy. Anka, I, I couldn't have asked for a better start to the initiative we were talking about the last, I don't know, four or five years. Um, <laughs> there's some, there's some planning behind it. There's some roughing it. There's some luck. There's some, uh, some stupid things we've done, and there's some cool things we've done. Of course. But I mean, this is. <laughs> this is a smashing, smashing, smashing bull. Eh? This is an absolute Beautiful awesome bull. Beautiful eh? This bull will be in excess of 200 kilograms. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure of it. So. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. I had to put in a backup shot, but that's how hunting goes sometimes. And that, that shot's this much low. The first shot was three to four inches low, otherwise it, it would is. have been perfect. perfect. But at least, you know, the, with a proper bullet shooting those acubons, we, we, broke the, we broke the leg, you know, yeah. so uh, he was, and, and with the enormous weight of this thing, yeah. he couldn't go far. So that's within it. a couple of meters, we, we put in an insurance shot and he was down. No, so that's it. No. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for, if we can call it that, guiding me, you know, in, in uh, it's in a the, pleasure. In the sense of making plans, using your years of experience, and so such a I mean, it's it's a it's such a such a privilege having a friend like yourself, and Martin as well. Um, Martin from African Sun Productions. This is not the first the first hunt we've done, no, it isn't. and I'm sure it's not the last one. Um, but but for you as well, you know, um, roughing it with us, you know, sleeping in the tents, walking all these kilometers with heavy bags, carrying my <laughs> carrying my mattress for me. I didn't have the space in my backpack so martin for you as well um, you run a you run a very smooth operation and you know because of your professionalism we can make these kind of movies i'm sitting here and getting cramps with yeah. all this walking and well and we have a couple of minutes left <laughs> we need to start uh Gutting start skinning this yeah. guy so Anka, again thanks thanks again buddy you're a star boot well done uh, Anka, this adds to the whole experience i mean uh this is what makes you know we the bush gave us this, and we were successful today. Yep. So to be to be in a situation where you think this is not my duty to do, I think you're wrong. I think not not enough of our people actually do this. Yeah, and we talked about it a lot, and, and, and you know what I thought about as well? You know, when you're out here doing this, <laughs> everybody's equal. Of course. Um, you know, from... From the from the biggest businessman out there until the a humble teacher, you know. I mean, yeah. out here, you, we we all experience it the same, and I think that is I think that is a big part of what we've been missing um, hunting in Africa, and especially in South Africa. Yeah, it's too easy for us. I think doing it this way, um, you don't have to do it like this all the time, but I think doing it this way, um, you know, will ensure that you get a. That you get an experience that, uh, that you never thought was possible, eh? You know what's the big thing for me is I'm a keen fly fisherman and I do whatever I can, every time I can, to improve my skills of fly fishing. Why is the people that hunt in South Africa, normal wilting hunt, is not doing more to enhance their skills? Exactly. This is part of it. Exactly. Get down, make your hands dirty. Get the stomach out, cut in quarters. All adds uh, to the experience. If we do this in the proper winter months, like July, August. Yeah, that could even sleep here tonight. But. Can't sleep here. And that's what happens in America. It's always cool, so your meat's not a problem. Where yeah. we are at the moment, it's a little bit hot still. It's not um, worth it. It's not worth it. And such a nice cootie. No, it's not worth it. Well, Hanky, this is it. Um, the stomach contents are taken care of. That bull will be good here for another hour or two. Um, that is in any case the ETA of the recovery team, so uh, we're going to carry the trophy out, something I've learned in America um, while hunting North American black bear there last year is that the hunter has the privilege to carry, to, out, to his carry out his own trophy, so uh, we're going to set, uh, set off with that tradition with our, with our adventures that we're going to be doing this year and uh, yeah it's about what two three k's from camp so we're yeah. going to get going, we're not going to wait for those no. guys, they're doing us a huge favor but uh, yes, let's set off, let's go. <laughs> things that people think
sometimes this is just what we're supposed to get. But this is actually a huge privilege we can get here, for sure. Cheers on that. And a beautiful pudding. Let's go. Thanks. Mm. How nice is the ice in this Atlas bottle that you brought? A <laughs> good idea, buddy. Carried it along the whole way. <laughs> for this specific reason and what a uh, victory it is. Eh? Cheers, man. Oh, wonderful thanks. idea. Well, it's amazing, eh? It's been the whole day in the backpack and still frozen. With no water in it. None of it melted yet. Amazing. The shit is boiling. I'll stab you with my knife. I'll stab you with my sausage stick. <laughs> with my sausage stick. We packed up camp this morning. The wind is starting to, to blow quite heavily and um, as, uh, as the sun greeted us this morning, we lay in our tents and uh, discussed yesterday's, yesterday's amazing hunt that we had and we decided that this is it for now. We, uh, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, um, you, you, uh, you put it nicely this morning and said, you know, uh, even if we shoot a great trophy stemmark this morning, you know, it, 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 it's not going to be, this. The, the highlight was definitely yesterday evening. No, it was. So, no, it um, was. we're going to call it a day. Our vehicle is, I don't know. Far. Yeah, far. So, uh, but we're going to take it, we're going to, uh, we're not going to rush. It's quite a heavy load that we're carrying this morning, so um, I just want to thank you again for everything. No, thank you, man. And, uh, Absolutely beautiful. We'll Thanks, do this buddy. in a couple of weeks' time again. We will. In we'll the mountains get, of the Karoo. And we'll get better and better each <laughs> time sure. we do it. For sure. Let's go.